the European Grand Finals. Nartus Vincere in the black and yellow. And in the black and yellow as well is Vitality. Heading towards B. Throwing an armored P250 on Zywu to get the party started. Apex into the palace position. Boomage to receive them. Util dropped. Flashes are good. And they're out. Swinging in. That fight favors Zywu, but Shox has already lost his life. Flamey's first bullet is good, but warded off. Simple's caught Masuta through the smoke. The trade doesn't even occur. Flamey catches the frag, and suddenly this round feels near impossible for Zywu and Apex. Yeah, you got the bomb down, but where's Zywu's frags? He's got to start posting something, but from where? What vantage point he, can he possibly seize? He's even been flanked. An electronic looking for the cleanest finish. She's been turned on. Zaiwu, no health really, but he's still hitting shots. He's already got three and four and five. And th oh my god, Zaiwu! Unbelievable! Practically godlike! He just teaches us how to count. Yeah, I'd take a timeout too. Uh, I said I wanted it. I, 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 think we, I think we might get it. Um... He was already low from this flank. 9 HP! 9 HP, and then he's able to pull this off. They just strafe out one by one, and he oh, pops every oh, single Oh, head. my lord, I am close to climax. There is a good reason for that timeout. I don't think too many players would be in their chairs after that one. That is insane, and that is why Zaiwu... <laughs> oh, my... Yo, they pop off! Webcam's Headset's not working off. anymore. We he's might broken the webcam. Timeout. I think you've definitely broken Na'Vi there. Not only did you just batter them in back-to-back -back maps to get their start, simple carrying them across the line on Dust2, you've turned that on its head. You've come into the last map, map number five of the best of five, running with all the momentum. You almost lose it there on Pistol, and then Zywu does that. I don't use the god terminology lightly, but with 9 HP to find five frags is just not fair. Unbelievable scene, Zai Wu. Finally, we see what the man is truly capable of here in this grand final. All right, well, Na'Vi, they want to wipe that one as way as quickly as they can, straight into the force by. Electronic, the man who took that fight first, the man who did a trunk of damage there, probably going to be feeling a little bit red-faced in the back. All the action was caught on camera. And they've had to slow down the pace here. It's just a default spread. Mid-presence, B-apps. Watching the A pushes through Palace and the ramp position. Utility is good for Na'Vi here, but the smokes don't work the same way as we do on a map like Inferno. Window smoked off, connected the same. Electronic held at bay. And information now, it's starting to fall away from Na'Vi. 55 seconds on the clock. They need to grab that bomb, Vitality, and decide where they want to finish. One smoke dribbled out towards the A ramp. Flame is left with one as well. That's over towards B. Nice little nade. They're actually rotating. They're gamble stacking B right now. This is the wrong call. Na'Vi, they're trying to make some reads. It's the wrong one. They're reading the wrong book. This just might be uh, put down your guns and let them save because Vitality are about to get in here for free. Boomich has arrived in CT in time, and actually, Zai was open on the plant. The flash has just saved his life. He gets away. Flamey caught on the advance. There's more, and RPK is starting to line up some multi kill. Simple on the repeat does connect. Needs another. Apex denies. No more simple impact this time. Electronic left to his own devices has found one, but good damage inflicted by Masuta's MAC 10. That was a great range as well. He's just going to be looking to Scarpa, and Shox is there to deny it. That's his first frag found. Well, quite the eventful first two rounds. Yeah, now we have to take an eco now, so things will slow down. Vitality get a chance to post that third on the board and keeping it clean like they did on Inferno is very, very likely here. The way that they're playing these rounds as a team, the way that they're staying as a unit, they're not giving up very much at all. A couple of pistols upgraded into a flash for Boomage. We're not working with a lot. Sybil does have the Deagle. He's been having a great series, but I think he's been shown up had a, a fantastic highlights over there on Dust2, but nothing beats that Mirage play. That has to be the play of the day. We got the game fuel. Oh, yeah. Our play. I think uh, we have our winner. We don't even need to do the vote. I'm still just watching it in my mind. 9 HP, turns on electronic, and then... 
I don't know. It's not a single bullet hit him. No, which is insane. Absolutely he was, insane. He was just so precise. Every shot, like the CT duel is supposed to be hard enough. That's the last shot he takes. I am on the verge of tears. Still, it's an A pincer. Boomage has met his demise. RPK hands out the prize. And Shocks is yeah, looking next. So sharp. Head found. Vitality have found the energy in this best of five fifth map starting off in a similar design as we saw Na'Vi start in the series. Flying start, simple hunting. The suit has oh got himself God. all the cash he could desire. It doesn't work out any better than that for Vitality. Your one SMG gets three of the eco frags. Bang on. If I'm Navi, I'd love to take a time out here just to say, look, the game starts now. Let's just first start two rounds, it. forget about them because, look, this is going to be a rough time for them. A team that's been mentally in flux throughout their careers has been Navi. When Zeus was here as the in game leader, they were yelling at each other in the middle of matches. We've seen more smiles creeping onto the faces of Navi ever since his departure. But the team still known to tilt. So underway we go over towards Palace 2 just to deal with any early aggressions from Boomich and now they're going to scamper on back. So Vitality are prepared for all these early looks that Navi might want to throw their way. Vecto tagged up through the smoke, has to think better of going for any aggression and Navi are already down to just a handful of Molotovs. One smoke, make that three smokes, sorry, having a hard time counting. Mid control taken, a minute 20 on the clock. This is very standard stuff. And now they're back over towards B. Three players up in the apartments, the bomb's there. So they'll be boosting one up into the window. Has to wait for this to dissipate before it goes off. And there you go. So now Apex jumping on up has, oh, has made a big sound cue there. A bit of a blunder. Yeah, and Electronic could actually punish this. Unless Masuta switched on enough to anticipate the punish. Yeah, he will back away. Able to swing in to the potential for a B finish here. There's no early rotation for B either. Been enough sound cues made in that window position. And they are on their way. We haven't seen Azaiwu in the feed yet since that pistol. He's going to have to do something now. Masut is the one to open it up. Zaiwu does close the site down. It's a Navi save. This yeah. is so flat. It's like Apex has already cut off the rotation. Mm. I think about it now, well, but there's no kit. That's the problem. And Simple has this all. Molly for the denial of the defuse if it gets close. Yeah, I think they're not going to have to save it. This is a uh, horrible scenes for Navi here. If they continue to get found out like that and they're having to defend 2v4, 2v5, the executes are coming in, their reads aren't working, eventually they'll start to gamble again. We'll get the max loss bonus here, meaning should be good for a buy. Guns can be dropped across as long as nobody goes down and having a little bit of a look will be Vitality. But that's relatively clean, only losing two players and one of them was Apex, the man with the MAC-10. He's not going to be too worried about that whatsoever. If they want to start getting that AWP out for Zywoo, they can do that now. They're already working with bucket loads of cash. Masuta already has 10k. Already has 10 grand. It's quite the full round opening. Vitality, this shift a very notable shift ever since Overpass commenced. And they've been holding on to that, chasing that dragon. But instead of chasing this elusive dragon, they're riding it all the way to a grand final reverse sweep. I haven't actually bought in here. I thought Na'Vi, at least the usual Na'Vi would. Simple gets a chance there. That goes missing. Masuda, very lucky to be alive. Simple normally hits those. Both rifles tucked in towards A. The pistol's back towards B. It's like, it was good luck as... Yeah, that venture, the canary in the coal mine situation will be a sound cue for the rotations, unless Simple breaks it himself, but hanging around window with that AWP, more smokes, more crowd control. Everything by the book from Vitality. Maybe not that one though. Flamey will take out Masuda. They know that there's pistols. Most likely for Flamey and Perfecto. Gets himself a rifle here and back towards A, so they're looking to execute. Apex has locked them again. This rotate gets so difficult, they really need to kill Apex. And if they hit A, without him going down, okay, now they can focus their attention, focus it fully on towards Ramp and Palace. Zaiwu, he's just got a slight gap under the smoke and it's enough to catch Boomich in transition. Vitality, it's a three versus five made, three v four. Perfecto with the sacrifice down to just a CZ, so the advantage is negligible. Look at their nades here for this. They can go for a full execute this late. 
Okay, smoke's blooming. I'm on it. Electronic forces the electronic forward. And peaks on the timing. That's great. Only two remaining then for Vitality and Electronic dipping out on the wow. smash. This is some sick play. He doesn't quite make it across the line. Zywe wants to pull it across the line. Two frags onto two of the best. And now swings out for another. He's a man possessed. Zywe won for another ace, another clutch. It's Perfecto hunting him. He's done all of the hard work. He has not died. No one has been able to knock him on his ass yet. And now just a 1v1. He's got six HP. It didn't stop him before. And it doesn't stop him again. Zywu, that is illegal. Nobody can touch him. Five to zero. He's 10 and zero. There's a correlation there. This kid is absolutely insane. Why are you so silent during all of that chat? You're oh, just this like, is just, I, I'm just watching a masterclass. Where's my Henry G's ooze? I'm watching a masterclass right now. Everything he does is picture perfect. I'm in awe of this guy right now. I, I'm just watching it going, yeah, Bloody he's won this. hell, lads. He's won this. That's, that's what I'm looking at, him winning these rounds. This is like nuke, excuse me, what was it? Dust 2 for simple? Yeah. We're getting a Zywoo Mirage. The thing is, these kills hold up. Hold up indeed. Takes a risk and it doesn't work. Narfi again, feeling a little salty. The frags keep coming. Masuta's finding headshots. Taking so much space, so many liberties. Electronics on notice. It's burning as well. Yes. Down, down, all the way down. There was a nade to absolutely seal the deal. Um, I am discombobulated at the way this is playing out. This is not what I had in, in mind. They need to take a timeout, Navi. They're being rattled. There's nothing that they can do right now. Vitality are running with this. They look picture perfect on their defaults. They're taking the map control. And then as soon as Navi look good, well, Zywu happens. That's the two rounds that Navi have had a chance. The pistol in round number five, and Zywu just absolutely dismantles them single-handedly. Like, literally single-handedly. It's not even a phrase. It's what he's doing, I've just never, pulling them apart. I've never seen that. The first... Two rounds Zywu contributes are ace clutches. Like, not only the ramifications of that, right? The pistol round win here, that converted, right? They were able to weather the storm of the force by. That's three rounds. Zywu has basically contributed for three rounds off the pistol and then gets another. Their money broken at this point. They, they can make the buys, but only just. And this is how Na'Vi have found themselves in the last two maps with only just scenarios. Of course you have to take a timeout. Like, what are you even meant to say? How can you quantify this? Like the, the, the frustration doesn't come into it. You're just being beaten. You're just being absolutely beaten. Yeah, there's no other word to describe it. Zai Wu took him long enough. Yeah, well, we were looking for the Zai Wu special. Here it is. He saved it all for map number three. Simple blew his load in the first two maps. Trying to compose himself. There's two aces in the first five rounds of a game. Yeah. I... I've had my brain cells absolutely rattled at the start of this map. It's actually really hard to keep composure, and I'm only the watching it. I'm not even competing. Look, if this doesn't spur you on for Vitality to get the victory right here, as the rest of the team, you know, right. he's getting you rounds. He's like, doing this for you. He's doing it for the team. The smokes are blooming. They're heading back towards A, and it's looking like it's going to have a rather immediate intent. Boomich previously was caught aggressive, and it's going to be Masuta again to try and find him. His crosshair's not there. Simple is, though. And Zywu will not be having another round. Maybe it's Simple's turn. Caught another. Electronics there on the site. They line up. He's got another. Just one. Shops is not long for this world. And we have a Na'Vi round. We have a simple round. Triple kill. One onto the very man who's been causing us so much mischief. Well, there's your answer for Zywu. Have Electronic and Simple kill everybody else. That uh, seems like a simple plan. Just make sure they're in the right position every single round. Na'Vi finally get one. Six to one is the scoreline, but it isn't looking good. If you take a look at how these last two maps of Counter-Strike have gone and now coming into the third, Na'Vi have not put up anything that even resembles a fight. They haven't looked threatening at all. Vitality in the last three maps of Counter-Strike have been looking almost perfect. Yeah, and we said the same about Na'Vi on the first two. Here's some more perfection for you. Another head-to-head -head goes Simple's way as Na'Vi try and get a grip of what's escaping them. And is going to get a bit hot here. Drops his smoke. It's forced out by Flamey. Four-man lean. We haven't seen much action, B. Shocks wants the orb. He's uh, pretty handy on that weapon as well. Money isn't great for Vitality, and that's because some of these rounds, yeah, Zywu has had to bail them out. When you're losing so many members, that reinvestment gets very, very costly. 
Yeah, Sharks has just successfully disposed of that This is so much room. How have they taken this for free? How are there no eyes on this? The hell? The rotation. They're going to get kills in the back yeah, here. They are. No, well, Electronic's supposed to hold it. Supposed to trade it. And he has. But Apex is there as well. And now the advantage extends. RPK is caught short. What is Navi doing? This round started with simple beating Zywu in a head-on duel towards a ramp. And they've just given up so much space. Simple flashed. Taking matters into his own hands. Still manages to get a frag. Pulls it out of nowhere, pulls it straight back into contention, especially if Perfecto finds Apex, and he has. Now Shox has to clutch up. Back in the server after his holiday on Inferno. Let's hope he's still fresh. And here's them. Simple so low. Perfecto, the primary target. Nade indicates they don't necessarily know if he's crossed. They find him, and it's a big frag from Perfecto. Oh, Bails them out of trouble. Navi string together. Two defensive rounds. Someone defuse, please. Just get it done. I know they want the AWP. I know you're sending Perfecto back to get it. Just get it on the board right now, Na'Vi. Things are not working well for you whatsoever. Perfecto will scavenge the AWP. The money is looking good now. Flamey needs a drop, but otherwise, should be another buy round. Vitality have had the cash whittled, but that plant helps a lot. Means they can stay threatening, upgrading with a couple of deagles, maybe do a hero AK with the way things are going. But that is such a massive gap to be admitting, leaving. There's no one looking towards middle whatsoever. We've got two players through them. Sutra and Apex are in jungle. That is just so strange to see. Just a gamble call, a gamble stack, maybe just some repositioning right there. Simple, maybe opting to take the game into his own hands. But either way, Zywu has been given an AWP. Shox has an AK. Ooh. They've equipped their stars. This is a threatening buy still. The deagles are good. There's a couple of bits of utility, a smoke and flashes. And they're sending Zaiwu out first. Last time Zaiwu went down was to the uh, ramp peak of Simple. He's tucked in this time on CT. But they're putting a lot of faith into Zaiwu and Shox. If he was to go down here, so would their chances rather dramatically. And Sendery cancels the progress. Simple cognizant that mid is a gap. Electronic doesn't have the info, but... So I were to re-aggress still with his eye on that scope. It's again a head-to-head -head between our two stars. They're out, Tetris. Trouble now. Real trouble. Boomich is isolated. Boomich is peak. He's gonna get more than one. Oh, the counter flash though. He is kept honest. Palace reveals itself. Boomich. Does have the bomb in his grasp. It gets awkward for Vitality now, especially when the nades start to arrive. They want Zywu to do something, but he hasn't been able to find a gap yet. Shox has. And Zywu's pot shot not too far off. They're back in the away. Bomb. There's time for this if they go all the way back to B now. They're not. And Zywu's hit the shot. Needs another. They're both here towards CT side. Zywu, 25 seconds and counting. Connector's a threat. Flamey's there. The warband close again. 19 seconds, the shot hits, and it's Zywu who connects. Flamey advances, they can plant now. Not if the wallbang hits, though. Time sensitive, RPK planting. Three. And a one versus three for Simple. They're so low, he can win this. And he's already started strong. Apex doesn't need to peek, and RPK can't. He's lost his life. Apex the last. Simple's going to do it. Another clutch, taking it in turns. Apex, what are you supposed to do? He's being hunted, and he's crossed back. That's good. Now the time's on his side. A fresh AK found. He's got the kit. Fakes it out. Apex practically has to call the bluff here. He can't afford to check. He's playing with simple. He is playing with simple right here. Oh, he's oh, called the bluff. Oh, okay. Might have done him. He might. Simple has to hold it. Apex needs to hit this shot. He pulls him off the bomb. I think he's, he's done enough. Time. They deny the 1v3. Apex, the lowest of all HP. Does simple get away? No. Nope. Oh, my God. The punishment there from Apex. What a clutch. He stops balls. him. The absolute balls not to pick. It's the only thing that would have won in the round. Cool, Simple's bluff. And this frag from Zywu started a vitality round. Simple does everything within his power, catching that shot onto RPK. You'd think he'd done enough. Apex plays it to perfection, though. That palace after plan, it wasn't even a palace plan. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Dan. <laughs> Yeah, baby, he's trying to anger the beast. They've been chasing this trophy all year. It has eluded them, and right now it feels like it is in their grasp. One this hand on the it charm. at least. Yeah, that's all it takes. Get in five grand finals. Close out the fifth. Do it against Simple. Oh, my lordy lord. Well, 
They'll put everything they can into this. That was just an AWP and an AK with some upgraded deagles. That's how they made that round work. That was Na'Vi's chance to start building a run, get it working. They had everything they needed. The utility was good. They stalled them out. They were just waiting at Tetris to die. And then Zyra goes, oh, I'll go kill some people, I guess. I guess I'll have a look. Oh, Navi okay. really need this. Yeah. Compulsory round. Here's another new look from Vitality. They're not putting too much pressure towards top mid, mainly through that underpass. Apex and RTK making their way. And it looks like with the buy of shocks, it will be a B finish. This is indicating to me that they want to go back for this B execute and punish Perfecto. He's on his lonesome right now, just with an MP9. There's four players from now V drawn towards middle and A. In the vent will be electronic. He can rotate and try and... Hmm. He needs to stop this. Oh, he's been spotted. Oh, wow, just a slither. And Masuta's actually completely nullified his position. Electronic has to tuck in. Look at Perfecto, he's getting swarmed. He is, Masuta's actually braved the flames and pushed straight through, and now the B site's open. Looks so good for Vitality. Flamey has to try and find a way back into them. Util blooms, he goes ahead of it, and is executed for his troubles. Shocks. Let's throw on the towel. He's got everything locked down. They have to save it, surely. All footsteps heard as well. Most they know there's a player locked. And oh. they'll catch another. Punishing now. Don't forget the loss bonus, 2,900. Every kill practically locks Na'Vi into another half by. <sighs> Vitality have got so many different looks onto this T side and They're every one. Translating into a V4 victory. That's eight. They've already won the half here. We've only had 10 rounds of Counter-Strike played. And, and Mirage is statistically not even that much of a banger for Vitality. No, oh, they've been struggling on it. I think out of those 11 times that they've played it in the last couple of months, they've only won six. They've lost a phase, heroic, phase again, NIP. It's been far from perfect. A big win earlier in the tournament, of course, against Complexity. But this T side started with a supernova. That's when a star explodes. And Zaiwu did. Uh, well, Na'Vi really need to hope that Boomich and Simple can get some work done because this half can't get any worse. But Flamey, that's a big shot. Boomich has found some impact now, and well, RPK denies it immediately. So we're back to a three on three with a minute 40 on the clock. As quick as you like. And Vitality, they don't need to do anything. They can wait for Na'Vi to continue with these risks. It's Electronic and Perfecto on pistol, Simple with the AWP, but he can't be everywhere. He's gambled incorrectly again. It means that this three-man assault from Vitality will only have to weather Electronics CZ-75. 12 bullets, fully loaded, ready. But their timing on this contact, as soon as Shox makes noise, Masuta's already in Sandwich. And he's found them. Oh, he could have found a second. Sweat off the brow now for the French as RPK's found his third here. And the smoke to enable a plant. They really want to look for this. If they lose this AWP, they won't have it next round. Especially now they've lost Perfecto. Simple. It's a 1v2. Should just be another day in the office for him. They've even got the position on shocks on the box. Has he got the wrist flick? No, he hasn't. Hasn't got the precision. And he loses his AWP. Chad, this spells trouble. They're being punished across the board. There's no other way of putting this. Now, V, every time they take a risk and a gamble, they're gambling wrong. That's been the case for the last few maps here. Vitality are absolutely schooling them. And sure, the highlights from this will be Zaiwu's aces. The fact that he's won those. They're backbreakers in terms of a mentality, in terms of what he set them up for in the early stages of this game. But you have to look at what the rest of the team are doing. They are playing as a unit through every step of these rounds. Their defaults look perfect. They're never taking any risks. The utility is on point. Na'Vi have no gaps to exploit. That's why they're struggling so much. And every time that they find that gap, they find those kills those in the early stages. Those trades are so quick back. Well, then Zywu comes and says, no, thank you. This is set up for a B hit straight away. And once again, it's Perfecto solo, just on his own, on an island right now. The closest to rotate is simple through cap, but he'll be smoked off if the executes look anything the same as what we've seen so far. I don't know why, but Vitality have called this off. They've just dropped back. It looked like they were setting up for this, ready and raring to go. But they've had to go all the way back towards T-Spawn. Worried about a bit of a push here. And there is mid-aggression. Electronic taking space. Simple set up as well. Now through underpass. Mm. Forces him to turn. And, try and now Zaiwu's going to perhaps walk up into Simple. This is going to be an interesting fight. Masuta the first. RPK to trade. And he so consistently does. But 
Na'Vi did win their dual top mid as well. Simple part of that. And a good frag as well. Fekto. Apex is in middle. 2v4. Everything points towards the third. Oh and my Apex god! just blows Flamey's brains all over CT. A missed shot. Suddenly Boomich is vulnerable. Okay. Panic over. Bomb delivery. Only RPK now. And they're so spread out. The bomb's so detached. He's lost a lot of his potency upon the death of his teammate there. They can gather, pull their resources towards A and with 20 seconds. RPK, his options are minimal. Spots Boomage. And they get the frag. But immediately, damage. Perfecto does have the contact. Yeah, it's great damage, though. You have to consider if you're only keeping two of those CTs alive and the economy is as busted as it already is, Na'Vi have to drop guns. They have to try and make this work somehow. And they're down such a huge margin. Nine to three, and they've only just made this one work. If Vitality stuck to their guns and went straight off that B execute, there's no way Perfecto holds on there. Likely just grabs one and trades, and then it's probably another save call. So now V, they, they need the six in this half. I, I don't think anything else would be acceptable just with how good Vitality are looking here. This needs to be a perfect finish from our CIS representatives. And this time they're back to the B look. Canceled this last time. Perhaps second guessing themselves. They're using shocks as a bit of a scout. He's going in. He's already Straight in. Straight in. He's into the B site. He's pressuring Flamey. He won't get the frag, but his teammates will. And he's Masuta on to Perfecto. Electronic has come to bail them out, and he's done a good job in doing so. This is great from Na'Vi. They've dealt with the B hit. Or at least most of it. Zywu. It is still Zywu. Maybe he could hunt this one down, but from beneath, Electronic strikes. Hunting for the no-scope. Na'Vi, they get themselves a double AWP, and they get themselves a fourth. As you highlighted, these need to be two perfect rounds now. Well, they have a chance right now. Look at the money situation for Vitality. They're not operating with a lot. Shocks can drop an AWP. Of course he will. Gives Zywu the AWP. Everybody else probably just going to upgrade a couple of pistols here. They made this buy work before. Shocks had an AK, sure. But it was Zywu with the AWP who was instrumental. And they're setting him up for success one more time. If he can pull off another miracle round, he's already contributed two aces. He's had that AWP given to him where he's found some massive impact. Why not give it a crack again? The kid's on fire. One bullet from the Deagle, if he shoots first, would be enough to best this boo boo ramp setup. His teammates are working mid. You know, all it would take is Boomich to take a step over the line. Shocks would have a chance. They're coming through underpass into simple and electronic, though, and you'd think that setup would be primed. To best them, Asuta is all too aware of Electronic's reactions. He's staring right down the barrel of a released crouch key. Electronic not going to give him a thing. Going to boost him over this. Oh, what a perfect time this would be for a window fight. And Masuta's won it. Repositioned and Saiwu no pulls the trigger. Way. Vitality are making this round realistic. Into Boomich. That's a bit of damage. And more now as Simple finds Apex. But he's plucked. They've taken Simple down as well. Boomich added to the list. Another one. Another round with only the Zywu AWP and a smattering of Kevlar. They know he's the B player. They know where he's coming from. There's Util, Nades. Everything arrives upon his arrival. He wants the AWP. He wants to save it for Simple. But even Simple can't save you here. Vitality are absolutely dismantling Na'Vi here. Masuta saved their skin there. Zywu doesn't get to pull the trigger if electronic swing from window actually works. Masuta I hits the one deeg. Didn't see it from his POV. Gets two in the round. And another impact for their one of their rookies. It's insane that he hits that, right? He's just there to be the booster. That's all his job is. Hey, get on my head. You go for the pick. And he still finds that type of a frag. And it enables Zywu to find the other frag. Teamwork at an all-time high. Synergy. Sexy synergy from the Counter-Strike boys. Vitality 10, Na'Vi 4, map 5 of IHM Beijing online. Oh my god. This is the frag. And that means Zywu stays that. boosted and Zywu pulls the trigger. He even finds Boomich, who could have done so much damage. That's the shot. It's insane Electronic finds no impact there as well. You consider what was on the other side. It was pistols and the AWP. The AWP wasn't even looking in his direction. They can even leave guns in spawn. Yep. The luxury afforded to you when you absolutely smash through the competition. Electronic spotted. Zywu has the info. Doesn't choose to pull the trigger. 
Look at all the tricks they're trying to pull out right here. Simple's actually boosted up towards B by Perfecto to make this even a possibility. And by cutting noise and going for more of a default round here, Vitaly haven't shown a lot towards middle. They're just parked up waiting for these CT side aggressions. It's 10 rounds on the T side again. How do they keep doing it? Gosh, you're not pre-aiming that, are you? These timings as well from They're Vitality. Not they could have. Oh, Boomage, you need to be very careful, my friend. Flash was flawless. Flamey pop flashing that ramp hold of Zaiwu, and now he will not be able to contribute his eight death. Nope, that punished. Him. But now, surely Electronic's ready for this. Gets him. Two francs to the good. Only three remain, and the damage is great. Everything Electronic is doing is working this round. Another frag. Perfect team flashes for every single one of these exchanges. Only Masuta and Shocks. And they've started off with one. Electronic on that stairs position. Doesn't have to be moving out from any of this util, so should have the punish. Oh, flame. Masuta's gone down, and it's Electronic with a third. Okay. Ten rounds posted on the Vitality T side. That certainly is going to turn some heads. Zai Wu popping heads. One more half before we crown our champs. RV Vitality. It's the best of five, I'm sure. Some individual plays will echo through the following year. Zyru's made a statement on Mirage. It's the fifth. 
And through his plays and through the plays of Vitality, they've managed to put themselves in a very powerful position. Oh, how the odds have shifted, and they've shifted dramatically in Team Vitality's favor. Not only have they gone on a two-map spree, they got 10 rounds they can boast about coming into their defense here on Mirage, our final map. And RPK wants information. Peeking into simple, that's a P250. And Flamey catching Apex, he stands his ground. RPK needs to find the taps, it's good for Na'Vi. Very good for Na'Vi. Masuta's got a lot of util thrown his way, but yet to see them fully commit, they're just charging through middle. I was still alive. Let's see what he's got for us in the second half. Lots of time for Na'Vi now. Don't need to rush this. Don't need to push the issue. Looks like Chox is going to get one in the back here. Flubs it and Boomich, he'll convert. Yeah, that should be enough, right? That surely. Should, surely. Be surely. Enough. You don't have to get excited anymore. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Now, Na'Vi, the pistol's great, but converting is even better. And Electronics bringing out that MP5 that he used yesterday on Nuke. Let's see if he can have just as much success. Navi need consistent rounds here. They need to convert this against Vitality, or I feel all the energy that they may have left might get sucked out of the room. If Vitality convert this force by, they're currently rocking three MP9s, a Deagle, and a P250. It might be lights. It might be all over. It might be the end because Navi, they've been rattled. Slow approach here. Shox is waiting for Sankey's. Waiting for info on Zywu. No. Real info to be reported. I mean, you spot one apps. That's not going to feel worthwhile for your investment, other than not paying a single price for it. So Electronics walked up. Simple's got mid with him. So I was even rotating back over towards B. They're pushing them around the map here. They're actually clamping in on them right now, Vitality. They can strike with these janky guns and make it work. Simple into the ladder room. Two AK-47s there, but it's the MP5 that fills the feed first. Two frags from Electronics MP5. And there may even be a third on the agenda. As I was peeked into him and actually managed to trade one back. Shocks his Deagle, finds the head of Perfecto. Things suddenly become realistic as Masuta finds another. Na'Vi can't. They can't let this slip away. Boomich. He manages to get himself back onto his feet and back into the round. Masuta to clutch up. Let me can't go down here. Bimish is coming now with the bomb. It's not looking the right way. Masuta. Oh, the time. Been spotted out and Flamey will convert. So Na'Vi. And AK recovered as well, finding their seventh. That's the perfect start. Couldn't have been a better start, really. And Electronic getting SMG frags and finding both of them really did guarantee this round. You can see MP5 looks very comfortable in his hands. The ramifications of this now should be vitality down to just the pistols. Shouldn't be any... SMGs to worry about. And it's going to be rounds at a time for Na'Vi to grind back into this. Sure, the first half, they were shocked to the core, but if they can convert that first gun round, they're going to be away with this. As out mid, they go fast from Vitality. They want to run and they want to take the fight. And they've even dinked up Boomich. He's on notice. They're still pushing forward. Vector's going to have to try and bail him out. But they're pushing. They're wrapping. Electronics are ready through A, but they're here comes the, the CT charge. Run. The T smoke oh. does not save him. And they actually do get themselves a frag on this full eco charge. All right, well, the bomb's yet to go down. It's a minute 20, and all the CTs were in T-spawn. So uh, that's an odd-looking one right there, but the USPs are working. Yeah, they've confirmed that Simple is holding the window. Electronic wants an action as well, and he's taking some damage. They've got to be cautious here. Very cautious. Boomish is already low. Simple's Gap is isolated. Great. Yeah, that smoky's drop means he can hold the gap. Masuta wasn't expecting that. Flamey takes the AK out of the equation. That's four. <laughs> that is such a strange round. Pretty costly eco, <laughs> all things considered. Yeah, very much so. But it's eight now, 10 to eight. Scoreline looking much more respectable here. But now V, if they want to have any shot at this, converting the first gun round, integral. Money's looking great over for Vitality. They were very, very conservative, so the orbs will come out. All the goodies with the utility. I'm interested to see their first round approach here. Simple there, doing a bit of stat padding. Getting these frags up. Ooh, okay. Good grief. Seems like a lot of frustration on just an eco round yeah. right there. Heart on his sleeve. 
early, heavy util towards middle. This is a different look from Na'Vi. They want to set someone up fast. And Apex has oh, been caught out no, completely. Oh that was the man that was just punching his desk. He's going to be frustrated about that one. And now again, a gap is made. Na'Vi, you give them an inch, they will take a mile. Still three players towards B to deal with, however. If Na'Vi picked the wrong bomb side. Oh, Boomich, what a frag. Yeah, and there could be more. RPK is actually lucky to survive. The flash forced him in. He loudly relocates. Boomich will have the info. Shocks, he's been there saving grace at times. I wonder if, if this orb connects. Nothing revealed by Electronic. He's got such a sneaking suspicion that that's where he's parked it. Nothing on the tight line. Toggle X-ray for a sec, you'll see. Yeah. Still no indication from Navi here. Electronic, I cannot believe how long he's just paused in this position and finally shocks will profit. Okay. Now, where does this next frag come from? So I was overexposed to Boomich. RPK actually catches Boomich. So now Vitality have made it competitive. 30 Probably seconds one time. simple. Where are, you, now. where are you going with that bomb? They're all split up. Look at this. One mid, one B, one A. And Shox has pushed ramp. So with this time being so sensitive, their plant will not be safe. What are they doing? Oh. Where are they going? There's only 10 seconds. Oh, but RPK's gone down. 10 seconds. If they could just deny the cross. If Zywoo could just hit the shot, but Perfecto has. Bombs dropped. They can't Shox chase him win the round. Shot was enough. One shot from ramp. He bides his time. Shoxy Jesus resurrects Vitality's chances. 11. Posted, and it's purely by virtue of the clock. Of course, it's the clock that gets Na'Vi. There's a third enemy for Na'Vi to deal with, and it is the time. Simple didn't get across. Simple had to pat the bomb down. Nine seconds, Simple goes down, and then Shox has done enough. Survival was his next priority, and tucking into ramp was enough of the damage done. That's so absurd. What an... What a horrible way to win a round. All because you planted your feet because you were scared. You didn't know where Zywoo was. They didn't know where Zywoo was. They didn't know which bomb site to hit. They knew where Shox was. They knew where RPK was. And now they're back in. Apex is going to be so grateful that that round he died. It's been converted into the site. Flamey taking absolute risk. And it's not netted any reward. He just charges in. The trade potential minimal. Simple on the ramp position. Apex rotating in to back and bolster the numbers on A. They will have enough. Four players of the five that still stand ready and waiting on A. Two of them tucked in on the same box. That's going to be so difficult to clear. Na'Vi backing off from A right now. Indication is they want to finish somewhere else. They've managed to get Perfecto up in towards the underpass position. He's hearing the rotations. But right now, if they were to hit B, it is the right call. It's just one man on the site. That'll be Masuta. 50 seconds left. Navi are operating with absolutely nothing. Vector will have heard that, and Apex confirms that on the jiggle. Three in mid. Electronic showing up in Palace as well. Feels like an A. Looks like an A. And it's been shut down by the so tank. Easy. So easy. Individual frags given to him one by one. It's just Bamas body shot. Simple, exposed, and executed. Apex finds a few frags. He's been very quiet so far. You can see why the frustration may be bubbling over, but it's two important ones. And now 12 for Vitality. They are four rounds away from finding their first victory in a grand final on their fifth attempt this year. Navi looks so rattled. Like, uh, there's no intent behind these rounds. They're just running in and getting slaughtered. And you can just see how easy it looks. It didn't even feel like they shot back at RPK there. <laughs> the coach wanting a bit of quiet. I can understand why. Four more rounds still needed. And I, I don't see a way for Navi to get back in. Why haven't we seen more timeouts? Why haven't we seen more chance for them to reset mentally here? Yeah, that's a great question. That's often a question we find ourselves asking of Navi. It's almost like it's, uh, it's seen as a sign of weakness as a, and as an advantage to your opponent. They are all, all, always, I was about to try and say often instead of always, but I'm willing to commit to it. Always hesitant to call these timeouts. Am I reading this right on the huddle? Is they still have three? Now we still have three remaining? Three what? Three timeouts. Yeah. It's insane. I, I don't understand how there's still three timeouts remaining. You were aced twice in the first half by the same guy.
Quick reactions from Apex. He calls A clear. Won't be for much longer. Narvi are gathering towards the ramp as the perfect smoke arrives and RPK. Pretty sneaking suspicion that there's one lingering towards connector. That is Perfecto's clock. <laughs> one it. Only three now for Na'Vi. Make it two. Unable to get into A. And it's perfect. Five still left standing as Vitality Kate keep galloping towards that trophy. The one that's been eluding them this entire year. Integrating in a sixth man, it's definitely given them a new lease of life, especially endurance on the best of five. We are in our fifth, and you can see that there's one team that looks a little more full of beans than the other. Na'Vi, five maps of Counter-Strike and just starting to run out of steam. The T side, it, it demands a lot of you. You have to take some initiative, take some gambles, take some risks. And that gets all the harder as your mental's tested. Flamey, tested indeed. Nice work, though. He's taken down Apex, and he's anticipating a second. Oh, my God. Damn, RPK is good at finding those trades. Just becomes a heat-seeking missile when he loses a teammate. His famous frags in the last few rounds have been huge. And now it's Zywa with pressure on towards B. Flashed off the line, doesn't know what's home. Re-aggressing towards A right now will be RPK. Masuda looking for info as well. They're more than happy to take these fights, Vitality. They're constantly in transition. This yeah. is so difficult they for Navi to keep jiggling for that with. info, and then they're gone somewhere else. As soon as that's been retrieved... Surely Navi can't leave it to the last 30 one way. Oh, my God. And it God. executes perfecto. And someone else might... Another. Be up on the chopping block, Electronic. Denies the odds and takes Zaiwu down. Oh, he's trying to take that space towards B. The rotation from Basuda is here, so selling this with a bit of utility will be electronic as the bomb goes back towards A. But look at this. Shox hasn't moved, nor is RPK. He's still close ramp. He's even just dropped a smoke. They have to go past then. Okay. Two smokes on Simple and Boomich. But to get into the site, neither of them are looking at the moment. If they were to take the frag, if they were to take the wide stance, RPK is no longer bodyguarded from the palace peak, but they throw nades first. Now he'll look. Now surely one of them will hold it. And yes, the bomb's loose. Boomish down. Simple though. A crucial frag. He's got 18 seconds to get into the site. Shocks catching the hunt. And now he's isolated just the one. It's down to simple to clutch. 10 seconds. The molly's great. It forces him out, but Shocks hits the shot. Another step closer to victory. Vitality hold 14. The reverse sweep becoming a reality for Na'Vi. I cannot believe this. The new game, do you remember how long ago that was? That was a 16-5. They came out with a 7-0 streak to kick off this grand final. That is how today started for Na'Vi. It couldn't have gone any better. A 16-5 on Nuke. And the last three maps of Counter-Strike have been absolutely masterful from Vitality. Their Got CT it. side on Overpass, their T side on Inferno. Their T side right here as well. Push up mid. Oh dear, Electronic. He's let them slip the net. One jumps back, but RPK's parked now. He needs the frag. Takes some heavy flak. Forced back. Simple's down towards the underpass. An unarmored Desert Eagle. And it's already oh, been found out. Bags. Vitality are hunting around this map now. They are so hungry for this. Just patrolling. They have no respect for Na'Vi, and you can just tell in the way that they're willing to take some of these jewels. Just their aggression, they have moves for every single round. It's never just sit back and receive. It's be active, it's know the tendencies of Na'Vi. They have two smokes, no flashes to work with here. They would have to hit some absolute crackers of shots, and it just doesn't seem likely as shocks. He'll take down Electronic, and Amy will respond. Yeah, now the smoke's bloom. It gets a bit difficult to contest the plan. Apex is their best bet. He has. Oh, so cleanly. Apex wants to get out of here. Boomich, a one versus three is asked upon him, and it doesn't last long. RPK again with these ridiculous frags. He's got 21. A crucial one, though, as it denies and puts the 15th on the board. Vitality running away with this defense. That is five rounds in consecutive fashion from 10-8 to Na'Vi staring down the barrel of a lost, reverse-swept grand final. They went up 2-0. They were within touching distance on overpass. Their map pick, Vitality finds 16-6.
Inferno. Navira shows up. The sexy sub who can and continues to deliver 22 frags mid table, bangs them out. And here we stand in Mirage with five rounds to the good in a row. Vitality looking to complete with just one more. Just one more. Start. And Simple's missed his shot. Zaiwu hasn't. The beginning of the end, perhaps. Renault headquarters holds their breath. Vitality. Four frags away. Their fifth grand final. Always the silver medal, always the bridesmaid. I am Beijing. RV center themselves. They've lost their start. They've lost the spearhead. He's dead. He took a risk. He's been dealt with. And now Vitality with a minute on the clock. They're destined for this. Oh, you could cut the tension with a knife. Util deployed. RV, 40% conversion of 4v5s, you said. It's going to be a big one right now. Apex is playing with fire. Oh my god, he turns his back to them. And Perfecto opens up. Okay. Double ramp hold. Boomich finding another. Na'Vi. They're not even looking. RPK. Oh, what a shot from Shox. It's on to Boomich. He's been shut down. Flamey to clutch up. 1v2. Shox is playing with him. He needs to pick up that bomb. He's managed to do that, but with 19 seconds, he's running, running straight into him. Zywu, and he hits the shot. Vitality have done it. Finally, there's a trophy in the cabinet for that headquarters. It's chock a block full of staff. But the French, fifth time's the chance.